Heidi, hi friends. Well, summer is here, the kids are off school, and uh, if you're a parent, you'll no doubt be thinking, good God, this is hell, if only I was drunk. Well, fortunately, we're here to help you out. So today I thought I would look at a couple of popular pale ales. This is uh, Sierra Nevada's Pale Ale, and there is Brewdog's Punk IPA. I mentioned that for the benefit of the illiterate among you. These are um, fairly well established now. Um, they're pale ales that are, they're kind of cool. They're the kind of thing that they'd serve in, in like cocktail bars for people who don't want cocktails and, uh, and uh, don't fancy Asahi or Bex or whatever their one lager is. So we'll start close to home, literally with Brewdog's Punk IPA. Now the label describes it as a postmodern classic and that's quite clever because nobody actually knows what postmodernism is so they can't be done under trade's description. So a little bit of history. Uh, punk originally meant sort of rotten wood that was unusable. Um, then it came to mean a rent boy. Then it came to mean a disreputable young lad. Um, Clint Eastwood was of the opinion that punks could make his day by letting him shoot them. There was later a genre of music known as punk. The best known practitioners are probably the Sex Pistols, although fans of punk consider them to be rather weak source. And now there's a beer. Mm, yeah, smell of tropical fruit. Um, eh. It's okay. I, I I wouldn't I wouldn't call it a bad beer by any shot, by by any shot, um, by a long shot, by any means. Um, uh, I should probably fix that in the edit, but I probably won't. It's it's really hot. So now on to the Sierra Nevada. Uh, this was actually one of the first pale ales that I ever had, and. Um, I, I was largely attracted by the label. I mean, look at look at that lovely picture, you know. It's 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 redolent of, of lazy days on the river. Um did I ever tell you about the time when I was a fur trapper? That's an interesting story, but mm, no no. Now is not the time. Some other day perhaps. So yeah, as you can see, um I, I can't pour a pint. Um, don't know, I should probably let that settle, shouldn't I? Hold on a sec. Yeah, I, I got impatient. Um, I just I just poured it out and, and hoped that uh, the head would look smaller in proportion. Okay, let's try this. It's okay, it's quite refreshing. Um, not as flavoursome as the Punk IPA. I would say if you are in a hipster cocktail bar and you only have those two, then uh, then go for the Punk IPA, I guess. Um, yeah. Hope you're enjoying your summer.